hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon for getting new updates welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'll show you how to install elementary os so let's start guys so first of all set up your bios setting if you are using usb drive select usb drive or using cd rom so select cd rom so this is the booting and try or install os select the option and now your os is booting up so click on i button if you are using usb drive there i'll show you how to create bootable usb drive so this is the first booting up now this is the welcome message and here you can check the live version of elementary os as well as you can install the elementary os so we have to choose elementary os where we can choose install elementary and you can choose the language as well as from here so now simply click on install elementary so now here you can choose the keyboard layout so you can choose any version as you required so simply click on continue and here guys this is the most important part you can say update and other softwares you can check this box or uncheck this box it is depend on you but i suggest always check this box because it is easy to installation because it is install all the required updates and software so simply check this box and click on continue and now here you can it is all the hard disk it is automatically create partition but i'll create myself so simply click on something else and here guys first of all you have to create partition table so simply select the hard disk and click on create partition tool so here guys this is our free space so first of all we will create a boot partition so this is the main directory slash directory so i'll give the space you can give space as you want i give this space and simply select the ext4 and click on ok this is our first partition and second partition is boot partition so we'll give the 500 mb for boot partition which is install the booting files so simply select the file system and choose the slash boot now third partition is our swap partition so simply click on it and always if you your physical ram is 4 gigabyte 8 gigabyte so double size of swap partition so i'll my physical ram is 4 gigabyte so i'll select here 8 gigabyte and simply choose swap area and now click on ok so this is the swap partition if your physical ram is fully used so it will use swap partition now our last partition is our slash home directory so i'll give the all space to our home directory where i can use easily our all data manage all our data so i'll give the all space for slash home directory you can give all the partition for other directory as well as if you want but i'll give the slash home so simply click on ok so our partition is complete here now simply click on install now
now it is giving the notification do you want to save this settings so simply click on continue now it is creating the table or save the all the settings now here you have to give your location for your time zone so simply and here enter the username so this is the username when you log in so simply give the username your computer name your password you can give all the settings here simply fill up and you can choose login automatically and you can select required password this is totally depend on you so simply fill up the all information and then click on continue and now your OS is copying and installing the all the files in your system now installation is complete so simply click on restart now now when you click on restart now now unplug your USB drive or CD room so now this is booting up after installation now this is the first booting up when installation is complete now here guys you have to simply enter your password now this is your elementary os now elementary os is completely installed successfully so now here you can check all the applications now your your multitasking view you can check all the multitasking view is here by default it is giving you three screens but you can add up all you can check you can add up the if you want other so this is the all settings in elementary os you can check by yourself this is the app center of elementary os where you can get all the required software all the required applications from app store you can check now this is the all settings you can check one by one this is the your photo library if you check the photo library all the settings is here so now I simply show you the about your elementary OS so simply I click on about and here guys you can check the elementary OS 5.1 the latest version of elementary OS is successfully installed so you can check by yourself it is built on Ubuntu 18.04.3 LTS this is the elementary OS now you can check the settings from here now you can check the desktop you can change the appearance change the wallpaper if you want so simply go to the settings and you can check all the settings from here you can change the dock you can disable or enable it all the settings from the desktop now here you can check all the settings now if you go to the system and security and privacy by default firewall is disabled so you have to enable the firewall so simply click on unlock and you have to enter the password and now simply select this option and your firewall is enabled now here you can check history is already enabled now this is the locking it will lock the option firewall we will enable the firewall this is the temporary file and trash file you can check the days it is automatically delete all the files and here guys this is the elementary os how you can install the elementary os 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच